Welcome to my nail tour in Los Angeles, California. We are here at Dare to Be Noticed uh, Beauty Salon out here in Inglewood, and I'm excited to have my girls. Yay! Yay. Um, a couple people missed their flights. Um, I don't know where they're flying from, but they missed the flight. So I will give them a one-on-one -on -one session later on when they're here. But we are going to meet the girls and see where they're from and what they want to learn from this class. So here we have Elise, and I'm from LA. <laughs> My name is Elise, and I'm from LA. Okay. And what would you like to learn? Um, I want to cut my time on my entire process, so if I can just start with prep, acrylic application, some art, like in cap, 3D flowers. And you say you're in school right now, right? Um, no. I only took my license test. Oh. I just, Ooh. I'm in between. Do they teach y'all in class, like, what to do? Not really. No. Just they like teach the basic about the clump, and stuff. But it's, it's not. Right. They just want you to get your license and get out. Right. They just want you to learn yeah. the basic. Okay, so we are gonna, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm good with speed. So speed is one of my, you know, specialties. Uh, my specialty is speed, I think speed and shaping. Um, yeah, so speed include everything else. <laughs> I'm not good with 3D flowers, so I'm gonna need a little bit better. Nobody wants that shit anyway. <laughs> well, bro, I, I did do two, two flowers over the weekend, it's getting better. But okay, we're gonna work on that. And what about you, babe, where are you from? Um, my name is Giselle. Um, I'm from Riverside, I like two hours away. Two hours, so you drove two hours? Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to work on getting faster and also like applying the code to the cuticle. To the cuticle. Yeah. Are you scared to put it to the cuticle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you be making it like fill it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, there's different methods of, of doing the clump. Like, you know, some people teach you to put it halfway and mm -hmm. make it look like fill and then look at it. Know, mm -hmm. I'm teaching from the top to the bottom. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I'm excited. And where are you from, pretty girl? Uh, my name is Shuniqua. I'm from Sacramento. I live in the Bay Area. And I'm currently. The Bay Area. Area. Yes. Y'all yeah, keep telling me to come to the Bay Area. Yes. I heard there's a lot of me in the Bay Area. Yes. There's a lot of rationalization <laughs> in the Bay Area. Yes. I would love to go because I, you know, I live in the Bay Area. Yes. <laughs> I want to learn. Yes, follow all that. Yes. <laughs> I want to learn shaping, ombre, encapsulation, speed, everything I'm not learning at school right now. <laughs> not learning in school. Yes. See, this, this is what the nail classes are for. It's really a lot of one on one um, of me teaching you all the stuff that's actually going to make you money in you know while doing nails that they don't teach you in school. I can't certify y'all in a license because I'm not really a teacher teacher. I'm just teaching. What I know. <laughs> so I'll give you my personal skills. So yeah, I'm gonna help you on all of that and how to, how to make you know more money. So y'all can get know what y'all don't get in the school system. Right. I can't really read and stuff, but I know how to do nails. <laughs> um, hi, my name is Lolly. Um, I'm from LA as well, and I'm a beginner beginner trainer. So I want to learn everything, especially uh, acrylic application though, because. I'm really <laughs> <am> horrible. <laughs> well, at least you, what you hear, you take the steps, so you're going to be wonderful. Why do y'all want to do nails? What is it about nails that y'all want to do? What makes you draw to the nail industry? You know, okay. um, well, I've been getting my nails done since I was 13, and I used to get all this wild stuff, all the crazy stuff, and pay all that money. And I know how I used to, you know, like feel walking out the nail shop. I used to be, like, when I go in there like this, I say, I look like a man at the hand. <laughs> so, I'm saying, like, I, I like getting my nails done, so I just want to make other people feel, like, how I used to feel. You know, oh, get what you get what you want. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good pull up, it looks like me. <laughs> it matches. <laughs> <laughs> cool number time. <laughs> that means no worry. Okay. <laughs> Why do you want to do nails? What is it about nails that you're interested in? I want to do nails because, first of all, the industry is booming. Evolving. Um, yeah, I no always, more $20 full set. Yes. <laughs> I've always wanted to do something in the beauty industry, and nails, uh, just the expression of art is beautiful to me. And now, nails can actually pay the rent. So, <laughs> it's a perfect time. I kept on waiting. Like, there's so many people good and everything, but I have to be a beginner sometimes. So, yep. it's not too late. <laughs> well, what brings you to the nail world? Um, the art aspect. I actually came. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I actually paint and stuff, so, and then who doesn't love nails, like, even... So you, you like to paint, and like, yeah. so you, you're gonna be a designer. Yeah. You like to be a designer, okay. Mm -hmm. 
It's creative. Very creative. That's good. As long as you have a creative, you're you're really into art, you're gonna do great. Okay. Now if you suck at art, you just, <laughs> let go right there. <laughs> it's a little bit, it's going to be difficult because if you can paint on the wall, you can paint, definitely paint on some nails. You know, if you can braid some hair, you can definitely paint some nails. As long as you have a steady hand, you'll be fine. Just don't be shaking like a crackhead. <laughs> I have a day where I shake like a crackhead because may, I might have been on cracks. So just so you know. <laughs> what about you? What, what brings you to the nail work? It keeps me artistic and I just like nails. I started doing my own instead of trying to pay people. I moved to Arizona for college and I could never find a good nail tech, so yeah. that's when I like started doing it on my own. How old are you? I'm 24. 24? Yeah. 21. 21? Yeah. 28. 28. Oh, you're yeah. <laughs> 25, 25. Okay, so you're still in your 20s. You're still young. You gotta hurry up. Because we start getting blind and our fingers start cramping up. I'm 28. I've been doing this since 16. So we gotta hurry up. Because you know, once you turn like, mm, they check. They check like, um, I don't know, 50. Your eyes just get shitty. Your fingers get shitty. And you know, with nail, we don't get benefits and and stuff like that. And um, what's the stuff when you get old and you put money aside? Retirement. Yeah, we don't get retirement money and stuff like that. So it's Nail is a hustle. It's, it's time limited. Um, the older you get, you're not gonna have money for the side. You're not gonna have any of this. It's, you are a hustle. It's like being a drug dealer because what you put out is what you make, okay? So if you can pick up on your time, pick up on your craft. Um, being fast doesn't mean it's sloppy. You know what I'm saying? Once you get to a point where your work is good in the fast time, like I can finish the set in 40 minutes with the blends and everything and diamonds and stuff, and the nail still lasts four to five weeks. So, I can make more money. How much do you like, what do you think a good paying job is per hour? What would you say? How many dollars an hour? You're amazing. You so being a nail tech, you can make that much. You make it $100 an hour. If you can do a client in an hour, you can make $100 an hour. It's all on your hustle. And I can take that from you, okay? And the some more build the clientele. Build the clientele is also important. Just because you do good nails, don't mean you don't have much clientele. If you're a nasty person, nobody wants to come back to you. If you're a mean nail tech, nobody's gonna come back to you. Or if your vibe is poor, you know, you have to care about your client. Even build a relationship and stuff like that. That's important to build clientele. Um, me and my clients, I might not remember your name, but best believe I remember the story you told me. I remember your kids, or I remember something because I deal with a lot of people, but it's really personal. Um, so build a relationship to get the person to come back to you um, is very important. And um, so today we're going to teach y'all. We're going to work on the basic, and but I'm going to teach you everything you know. Everybody is welcome to record. You can record to take home, to memorize. And I'm going to, you know, everybody is different. So advice I'm going to give you is going to be different from her. But I'm going to give you something to work on when you go home. Okay? So let us begin. <laughs> 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 okay, so this is the part where um, I uh, I keep getting lipstick on these big ass teeth today. <laughs> okay, this is the watch and learn. Okay, so all the girls get to tell me what kind of nails they want to want for me to do, and we talked about what what is that? What am I going to keep saying to y'all? What's important? Use your eyes. Use your eyes. Your eyes are really important. You should be able to see what looks good, what don't look good. You should be able to differentiate it. And sometimes I get frustrated when I be like. Does that look like that? And they'd be like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, this is being wrong with your fucking eyes. This is fucking good. It's like, you can't do nails if you can't see that it doesn't look good. When you walk into a salon, you get your nails done. You get your nails done. You know what look good, right? You can tell if it's a good job or not. So make sure you use your eyes. And cut out time. I want you to use your eyes and start memorizing these numbers. It goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 is the smallest, 0 is the biggest. You should be able to look at a figure be like, okay, that's five, and pick it up, and glue it. That's how you cut down time, okay? And also when you glue it, put the glue right there and lay it down, okay? But we're not laying it down like this, and we're not laying it up like this, okay? Just straight, okay? So that you can have a nice shape, and how you measure it, make sure we're going from this point to this point, okay? It's always better to be bigger than smaller, okay? Because if it's bigger, it's still reaching both sides, and you can still, you know, file and eliminate but if you glue it and it's too small, that part can break, okay? You don't want your client to break that in the middle because that's when it really hurts you, okay? So it's just pick up the front and my hair is fucking everywhere. Okay. So, 
Middle finger is always bigger than the pointer finger. So if that's mm -hmm. a five, what is this? I'm sorry. Four. A six. There you go. Four. Six is the one small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the, big, okay, the bigger the number, the smaller the tips. Okay. See, and that's a four. So I want you to be able to pick up and glue, pick up and glue. And this is going to save you so much time at picking up and measuring and laying these down, okay? And now you, now you just memorize. Now you just be able to do it. It cuts out so much time. So this is today's sample of the nail sample. So we got the stiletto with halfway stones. We got the skinny coffin with the all diamonds, the taper square with encapsulated, the tricolor ombre from the tip square, the uh, mermaid or fishnet square coffin, the ugly round roach shellback water bug, <laughs> looking at his egg um, shape, and a um, almond unicorn. And let me see it though. Uh, we have uh, what is that lipstick? And we have another stiletto which is like an Easter kind of pastel look. So this was the uh, look and learn of the shape. So what did you learn? We learned gem placement, ombre, encapsulation, <laughs> <laughs> triangles, speed, how to file. Pass, pass, pass. So what is something- We learned how to charge people. <laughs> So what is one thing about the, the diamond part that you learned that was helpful? Um, like placing it all gaps. fitting in the holes of the yeah. gaps. Yes, like a puzzle. Exactly. Yep. And what's something about the shape shaping that you learned? Definitely how to hold the file um, and how to keep the time set down. Oh girl, I'm over here like, hold on, you the model, you're not even <laughs> You the student. She learned too. She, um, we all learned. We all learned. Uh, what did you What did you learn about the acrylic? Um, how to lay it better and to let it sit a little bit before swiping, so you don't swipe off all the acrylic. Mm -hmm. Pat, pat, drop it at the door and pat it. What did you learn about the color acrylic? Um, how you put it down more and then you do the thing and also with the acrylic use it as a color and use it very thin yeah as a color design and that um and then put the clear over it mm -hmm. and what did you learn about what was your, your most helpful from this from the look and learn wait say it again what was your most helpful from the look and learn um the acrylic application because that's what i struggle with the most yeah. so drop it let it brush. Go. Drop it at the door, let it go. I remember that forever. <laughs> Drop it at the door. There you go. <laughs> so I have little lingos that I'm going to teach y'all. So now I want to teach you how to drill off, and then we are going to start practicing on y'all acrylic plums and application, okay? And then after that, we will do the models. And once again, sample of nails. You're going to walk around with sample. What kind of nail you like? You want this one? You want this one? You want this one? <laughs> okay, kids. The class is over. Be. It was a successful class. So everybody got to do their hand model. We are all done. I sat here for a long time to make sure that everybody, all the models got all 10 fingers on the nails and everybody gets to work on what they needed to work on. So now we're going to do a little review. So... Where am I going? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so fucking tired. Like, y'all yeah, know, like, LA time is completely different than Atlanta. So it's only like eight o'clock over here, but it's really like twelve fucking o'clock in Atlanta. So I'm, I'm tired. I just came from club streets to here. So tell me your review. <laughs> what, uh, what did you learn? What was helpful? How was the class? And um, what was your favorite part? Um, I would have to say my favorite part was watching you put in the rhinestones. Um, I want to practice that. What I learned is how to apply Wait, acrylic. Wait, it's a loud, loud ass motorcycle. <laughs> Whatever it is. I learned how to apply acrylic, but I still need a lot of practice. But I'm going to take everything that you taught me and work hard, and then I'm going to come find you in Atlanta. <laughs> and show you what I did. <laughs> come find me. So do you think it was helpful? Yes, it's very helpful. Uh, helpful, sorry. I think everybody should take the class. Thank you. <laughs> Hands on. Ta -da! Thank you. Thank you very much. And where the fuck your bag? Wait a Oh, but it's specifically. Well, oh, bitch, bring it here. Oh, and she got her bag, her balloon, and her certificate. 
Once again, this is not a certificate that you can go do nails. I am not a teacher teacher. I am just teaching. So, the certificate is just, you know, that you complete a class and you learn something. And also, anytime that the girls uh, have questions, they can always feel free to DM me or uh, contact Asia um, for my throat dry. Okay, so these are the certificates. Amber Club gets her. And you are so sweet. And I enjoyed you. You're so cute and cuddly. And you were really determined. Like, you were really determined. And you had a great friend that was about to walk you through this shit. Like, uh, excuse me. Man. <laughs> but it was okay. You can't be mad at her. She was pushing you. Like, you guys were really great um, nail models. You her. She's very supportive. We're going to be over there. Um, my group who sell oils, Hannah <laughs> Sham. Um, but this is Shanika, and this is her certificate and her gift. And Shanika, tell us how about your experience today, what you learned, what you like, uh, your favorite part. And wait, wait, wait. So, first of all, my favorite part was getting my full set done. Oh, yeah, she got the sample nails. <laughs> the bitch came up. Yes. yes. <laughs> and the road tree. We said this one looked like a water bug. <laughs> um... In comparison to other classes, this was definitely more personalized, definitely more in depth. Um, she is very, very detailed and open. Speed was probably my best thing that I learned today. Like, was how to cut the time of a full set from two and a half hours to one. <laughs> I might not be at one hour, but definitely to cut the time, um, getting those shapes perfected. Ling Ling can shape the fuck out of the nail, okay? You know, Ling Ling no just for no reason, you know? <laughs> what so, else did you learn? Um, mm -hmm. I think products. Products? I think definitely. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat dry too, girl. Um, so mm -hmm. products, you can use anything as long as you know what you're doing. So don't go out and break the bank on products, especially as a beginner like I've done. <laughs> you can use... As long as you know what you're doing as far as your application and you take the steps correctly, you can use whatever and make great nails like that. So I think that was Thank a lot you. Of Thank you for coming. <laughs> um, I know a couple girls did not make it. They balling out this tax season. They made a deposit. They were like, they don't need that chump change. They didn't even show up. But thank you for showing up. Um, and Thank you for really taking me serious and you know, really trying. You know, and she got a big old butt, y'all. <laughs> Show the butt, Shaniqua. She got a Shaniqua booty. Damn. <laughs> Today, how you felt today, how you enjoyed the class, and your favorite parts. Um, I enjoyed the class very well. I, you know, Joselle don't even talk loud, so yeah. Um, I really liked how you showed me how to drill really good because I was very uncomfortable with the whole cuticle thing. Yeah. So you got me a lot more comfortable. I liked how you were more hands on and taught me and came back and keep coming and keep coming and keep coming and you owe me. Um, and I liked you seeing you in action, like live mm -hmm. on her. That was really fun. On oh, 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 her nails. Yeah. yeah. But like, it's cold to get there. Yes. And don't, don't worry. I, uh, at least uh, Giselle is also one of uh, the beginners, and uh, I'm really proud of you for today for keep going and don't like don't give up on yourself. Uh -huh. You guys, I I suck for a long time. I was some shit at nails. I, it took me like four years to actually really get good, but when I actually left the salon that I was at and actually surrounded myself around better nail techs and more acrylics, that's when I got better. Mm -hmm. But if you give up now, then it's, you know, it's a waste of money. Mm -hmm. But you have to keep going, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't doubt yourself. And you guys always take, um, what is it called? Constructive criticism? Mm -hmm. Constructive criticism, okay? People are, once you do better, don't get too frustrated. You know what I'm Okay, let me try it. Don't doubt yourself. Don't put yourself in a hole and like, oh, no, I just give up. Okay, you, who's it to you? Your mom? Hi, mom. I didn't even know it's a mom. We talking about. Mommy was very helpful and very like 
supporting you. And you have a great support. So just keep trying and keep soaking her nail off and keep doing her nails. Until you get it, okay? You're a sweet girl and you're still you. young and you have a long way. So keep it up, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Last but not least, we have Zion. And do you want to get her certificate and her little ting ting? And this is my little head baby. <laughs> Because her head is much smaller than mine. Big as your it's, you're right. It really is. <laughs> oh, you made my nipple hard. Oh, I did just put that away. <laughs> okay, what did you learn today? And what was your favorite part, baby? The ombre. And I did like three color ombre. Yes, so really up. good. And the tri color nail. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah, she did a really good job. Oh, this hand glows in the dark. Ooh. <laughs> and um, kind of end capping. Oh, this one, marbly. Mm -hmm. I tried my good best. Good job. Mm -hmm. Look like a popsicle with some glitter. Mm -hmm. So what, what did you learn about the ombre? Um, how to lay it correctly, how to pat it correctly, maneuver it down the nail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You done? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> what was the most helpful thing you think about the class was? Um, helping me with the drill and then helping me maneuver it down the nail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Patting. Patting. Patting gently and being Patting gentle because I mm -hmm. build that relationship with that bride. And it, yeah. Okay, so and thank patient. you. My patient? You are so patient. You are. What did you say, mommy? <laughs> <laughs> say it again. <laughs> what did you say? Mimi is so patient with all the girls. She's the best. Oh. Classy girl. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Oh, last but not least, we have Portia. Where's your things? Portia, so. <laughs> Allow me to teach a class here in LA. Um, what I want to share, if y'all don't notice from a lot of my classes, my classes are very diverse. Okay, and a lot of time, uh, so far, it's mostly um, uh, black nail techs and uh, Spanish nail techs and the non typical nail techs like me, you know, the non Asian shop. Uh, she actually works right next to an Asian nail salon. And what I learned today in LA, I asked around and I learned that the Asian nail salon here in LA does not accept a lot of uh, out of the culture nail techs, no black nail techs, no Spanish nail techs. So they're not really given the opportunity, but everybody in here has a passion, a desire and a gift. And she actually works doing nails in the hair salon next to the nail salon. So that shows me so much dedication that you want black nail techs to win. Black girls do nail too, Spanish girls nail too, white girls do nail too, whatever color it is, y'all can do nails too. So putting it out, uh, I appreciate it. And really opening doors for all these girls and many more women here in LA. And I hope that one day when I come back that there will be way more black nail salons or just any color nail salons like how I have it in Atlanta. already done full sets and your dedication. I didn't yell at them like how I yell at Remy. <laughs> and um, your technique was awesome, but most of all is like knowing that you don't have to buy expensive product in order to do a badass set yep. of nails. So don't get caught up in buying, you know, $30 acrylic when you can buy $5 material. Yes, we did a, yeah. we did a, a testing today. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. we, did, we did a test run today where I tried her expensive liquid and her expensive acrylic and I switched it to see what it, what is making that gooeyness that is making it more complicated for an application. And then I took out my regular cheap stuff okay it's not even cheap for real it costs money but my regular stuff that are not named brand that are not being pushed and advertised is just sold in the nail supply that you can buy and what guess what mine failed right and my mine was so much easier See? you can save money i'm gonna teach you how to save money and save time time was like oh my goodness you can save a lot of time with buying like the cheap stuff. <laughs> it took me another 45 minutes to file the lumps out of the expensive brand when the cheap stuff was just 